everyone, how you doing? Welcome to Cooking with Joss. It's Sunday, it's three here and eight in the UK. So I hope you're ready to make your pudding for tonight. Um, actually, it's not really a pudding traditionally, it's a dessert to be specific. How are you all doing? I hope well. I hope everyone had fun yesterday um, celebrating the 4th of July, that was fun. We did that here. We've got American flags out there. We shot off um, fireworks like mad. And it was one of my best friend's birthdays at the same time, so it was great. So I gave him the first attempt at the strawberry roulade and it looked terrible. So we're gonna try and make it better today. <laughs> but it tasted amazing apparently. How you doing? Hi, Sylvia from Texas, how are you? Hi, Eric. Ah, hi, Diana. Thank you. Hope you like them. Oh, my meals are not vegan, Eddie. I need, to, I need to learn how to cook vegan. I've had a lot of requests for vegan. I do have some ideas, but I'm not that good at it. So um, I've been cooking vegetarian my whole life. So I'm going to have to have a good think. Maybe next week we should do vegan. We could do a vegan um, mac and cheese or a vegan Caesar salad. Oh, I love that. That is good. Oh, it's gross when there's fish in it. I don't know how people do that. I know people like it, but oh, no, can't do it. So yeah, I'll try. Hi, Omar. How you doing, darling? <sighs> Miss you. So hi, Angie. Oh, Angie's here again. Hello, darling. Oh, hello, Pablo from Venezuela. How's it going in Venezuela? Is it crazy out there? Are you guys okay? Hope everyone's all right. Hi, Tamarez from Brazil. Hi, Brian. Hi, gorgeous. Okay, right. So, this is a bit of a mission. So I hope you're ready. I'm not really ready. This will be the second time I've made it. The first time was splush. And when I say splush, I mean it didn't hold together. It tasted good, didn't hold together. Um, <laughs> there was a lady here last night and um, I said, do you like it? And she goes, yeah. She said, it tastes like something I've always wanted, but I just didn't know what it was. <laughs> I thought that was really sweet. Hi, Marcus from Germany, how are you doing? Hello, Julia from Porto, cool, nice. Hi, Tony. Okay, right, so you need six eggs. Sorry, vegans, you need six eggs um, for this. I don't know, I wonder if they've found a way to make meringue without egg. I bet they have. Yesterday we had burgers and sausages, all vegetarian, or vegan actually. Um, Beyond the Meat, burgers, and uh, what's, what's the other one called? The Impossible Burger and people always feel like it's meat. So if they've managed to do that, maybe they can manage to make like a pretend egg. Who knows? Anyway. Hi, Stephanie. You are right, lovey? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna capture the white, no, we're gonna capture the yolk and keep it to one side in a little bowl. We're going to whisk up all the whites in here. There's six eggs. Okay? Try our best. There's, there's different methods. Um, one is you, ooh, is you capture it in one side of the yolk. Ooh, it's gross, isn't it? And, um, ah, yeah, and then just chuck it from one side to the other. The easier, more Jamie Oliver style way is you just pop it in your hand <laughs> and let it all run through your fingers. We'll do that in a minute. There you go. Right, so we're keeping that little yolk. That's the fat in another little bowl there. Hang on, I'll get some things to do my thing. I'm finally in love with paper towels. <sighs> They're brilliant. I don't know why I didn't use them in England. They're just brilliant. Okay, sorry, I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing. It's not very helpful, is it? Okay, there you go. Right, cracky, cracky. Right, should we just do it the easy way? 
Ugh. Come on. Come on, Jamie Oliver style egg. Separating. Oh, that actually was easier. It was quicker. Much quicker. Oh. Okay. Fun fact about eggs. <laughs> eggs are gross, aren't they? <laughs> oh my God. So being vegetarian my whole life, I've come across many, that is, yeah, it's disgusting. I've come across many um, different arguments for, for why us vegetarians are stupid. <laughs> and um, one of them is, well, you eat eggs, so, you know, you're eating baby chickens. And I love to correct them with a little bit of shock. Um, depending on how, you know, posh or well-to-do they are. But I just say, no, 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 darling, it's okay. They're not fertilized. I'm really just eating a chicken's period. That's what it is, and that's okay. I wouldn't mind if someone ate my period. Wouldn't bother me. I'm not using it. <laughs> that is disgusting. I know. It's okay, because we're so far away from eating this. It's not gonna make us feel sick, that comment. Hang on, how many have I done? One, two, three. Shit, have I, have I done six? I think I need to do one more. One, two, three, four. Oh, bollocks. Okay, one more. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Barbara. How's it going? Oh, you're in Missouri. Cool. Right. Not, you're not eating baby chickens. Those are, un I know, exactly, Teresa. That's what I tell them. But some people have um, a hard time getting their head around that. They think if it's an egg, it has to be fertilized. Well, that's silly. That's just, that's just not true. Um, I used to have chickens um, and they all got kind of one by one eaten by the fox. Um, they were free range and we used to put them in at night, but the fox, ah, oh, cunning like a fox, it's so true. They just would slowly grab them. And then once we got a handle on the fox and got the, um, come on, come on goo, come on and got some sort of like, I don't know, whether we put up a better fence or something. And then the badger bloody came in, didn't they? So that was it, that was it for our chickens. But they did hang around for a bit. They were really sweet. They just kind of wandered around the garden. It was lovely. Hi, Victoria from Oklahoma. Happy 4th of July weekend. Hi, Adam. You are right, darling? Bring them on camera. How do you do that? Hi, Sarah. Hey, Sarah, are you making it? I hope you're making it. So if you are making it, can you post um, pictures of the splush afterwards? The strawberry roulade, sorry, not the splush. Okay, right, hang on. We're coming back up. Okay, good. Okay, so I've got my egg yolks and I'm going to put them to one side for later. For Ron, as my mum likes to say. Um, I'm just going to wash my hands. Two seconds, because I have Snotty stuff all over them. Okay. Good, 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 good. That's better. Right, so you can do this with one of those little whizzers, um, hand whizzers, um, but I'm actually going to use my favourite thing in the whole world. It's my KitchenAid. Oh, I love it so much. It's great, and it does it really quickly. So, um, we're gonna whisk that up, and it's gonna come to like stiff peaks. I wish I could bring it over. Do you know what, I'll bring you over. Can I bring you over? Yes, I can. Yes, that's better. Okay, there you go. Can you see? I think you saw my doggy there. I'll show you the dogs in a minute. Okay, so we're gonna do a whiz, and then I'm gonna put sugar in. You need, Hang on, I need to do this right. You need, how much sugar? About, like a cup, 300 grams of caster sugar. So it's like a cup and a little bit. So I'm, I'm gonna whisk this, okay? Maybe 
it's a bit boring to watch. Sorry. Okay, so I've got my cup of sugar. Hang on, I think I need a bit more. I think I need a cup and a bit. So I'll just do that. And I'll slowly put it in. Hi, Junior. Yes, that is Igor. Do you want to see my babies? Whilst that is whizzing. It's turning white, look. Mm. Okay, we'll leave it for a bit. Hey, Igor, say hi. Can you say hi? Are you sleeping? Hi, baby. Hi, baby. He's wearing a blue tie. It's a new one. Isn't it cute? Oh, baby. Oh. Okay, Maggie. Hey, Maggie. They're so sleepy today because it's bloody hot. Oh, shit, hang on. I'm whizzing, I'm whizzing. Okay, that is definitely a lot of whizzing going on there. Oh, look at that. So quick with this machine. Okay, so what I need to do is pop a bit of sugar in and then do more whizzing. I love meringue so much. I think it's my favorite thing in the world. My favorite pudding is raspberry pavlova. So bloody good. Turn it up, turn it up. Woo! Okay. Okay, and so what was it? 1.27 of a cup. So what? So that's that. Now we're going to pop it on its own little bit of baking parchment and we're going to cook it in the oven. Right. Right. Are you done? Are you quite finished? I don't know. I'm going to give it a minute. How are you doing, everyone? Yes, Claire, you do need a KitchenAid. They are expensive though, but it's kind of worth it. And there's really fun colours. I know, I know that's a small stupid thing, but I love it. I got quite obsessed with my kitchen aid. Do you know what, I'm one of those really annoying people that... <laughs> I sent it back because I, I ordered the wrong colour. Isn't that bad? Hopefully somebody got... Um, Hopefully someone got a cheaper kitchen aid because of it, because they're bloody expensive. Look at that. I could just eat that on its own. Mm. That it won't. Not good. I have raw egg whites, so they say. Oh, it's so yummy. Look at it. It looks like fluff. You know that stuff, fluff? That really sweet, gorgeous, yummy stuff. Okay, so you're going to need one of these of some sort. Doesn't, I mean, maybe this isn't deep enough. It could do with being a little bit um, deeper. Right, pop in there. Get your little thing in the bob. Baking parchment. Non-stick. It says non-stick. It isn't exactly non-stick, but it has the intention of being non-stick. And I've got this, which is just oil. Just a little bit of oil. Just put on the pan to help it stick. To help the paper stick to the pan. And then you do this. How's everyone doing? You following? <laughs> okay. I haven't got any scissors. Bollocks. Okay. So I'm going to be brave and just do that. Mm -hmm. I should have bought some scissors, but I didn't. I don't like the extra bits, it's annoying. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry I forgot to put on the ingredients last night's strawberries, but hopefully people got that anyway. 
But it doesn't matter if you don't because you can just make a lemon roulade because we're going to make it lemon curd. Anyway, this is that. I did put a bit of oil on this bit last time, but I don't know if I should have done that. Okay, just for good measure. Just a little bit. Okay, just a little bit. Because I feel like I don't want it to stick. Okay. Get our gorgeous goo. Yum, egg whites and sugar. And plop it on. Oh, your oven at the moment should be at 200 degrees Celsius in the UK. And if you are in the US, it should be at 392 degrees Fahrenheit. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna pop it in for eight minutes. So I hope you guys remind me to take the bloody thing out. Um, we're gonna pop it in for eight minutes. And then we're actually gonna turn the oven down and leave it in for another eight minutes, eight to 10. Mary Berry leaves it in there for 15, but I'm following a different recipe. I kind of trust her though with my life. So, right, I'm just gonna pop that in the sink and then we'll splush this. Okay. <coughs> right, you just do your thing. Yeah, you'll be fine. Okay. <coughs> okay. So the mistake I made last time, I, I left like peaks in it, but whatever you leave is the shape that it's gonna be. So you have to flatten it out as much as you can. Um, oh, oh, mm, yum. Um, yeah, you have to flatten it as much as you can um, because you're going to end up turning this over anyway. So you're gonna have a flat bottom, but if you've got lots of peaks, then it's gonna be a bit wonky and dodgy. It'll probably be wonky and dodgy anyway, which is the beauty of this lovely thing. Mm -hmm. It looks so nice, doesn't it? I could just eat it all like this. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. Mm -hmm. Baby, can you hear this sound? Why did that song just come into my head? It's actually a really mean song. Please don't think that I owe oh ya. Yeah. Look at what you put me through. If I had a chance to plan what I would say to you. Turn around so beautiful. Look you in the eyes just to prove I don't love you. See now, if you sing songs that are mean when you're cooking, surely that would mean that the cooking won't taste as good. I don't know, what do you think? Is that, or is that ridiculous? You know they have, um, hang on, I'm just getting a thingy in my bowl. You know they have, what's that food that the monks pray over? What's it called? And they say, oh my God, it tastes amazing. I used to go out with this guy that believed that it tasted amazing. He was like, oh, it's like so much better because they're praying over it. But you know what? I know I'm making fun of it, but it could be true. I mean, why not? If you can affect a bottle of water, I'm sure you've all seen this study. And if you haven't, look it up. If you can affect a bottle of water by saying to it, I love you, I love you, I love you, or I hate you, you can affect the way that, um, is it the molecules? I don't know, I'm probably using the wrong word. Um, but you can affect, affect the way that it's shaped. So they look at it under a, a microscope and the one that they said, oh, I love you, I love you, it looks like a snowflake. And the one they said, I hate you, looks like a total mess. So if that, if that can be true, then we must sing love songs to our food. <laughs> right? I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. Food for thought. <laughs> Hi, Peter. <laughs> Peter, Peter, Peter. My Cody won't like that question. Okay, I think I've had enough of this. Am I, can I lick the spoon on this? Salmonella? Mmm. Mmm. Is that really bad? Is that going to make me sick? 
just tastes like fluff. Mmm. Oh my god. I'll pop it in the oven and I'll put this in the sink so I stop eating it. Okay, lovely jubbly. In it goes. Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't put it in the oven yet. You have to pop these on it. Um, almonds. If you have almonds, great. If you have pistachios, that's good too. Um, the lemon recipes I've seen online often have pistachios on the outside. The strawberry ones have almonds, but it really doesn't matter because we're doing both anyway. And I'm going to add some raspberries because I haven't got enough bloody strawberries. So who cares? So we're going to put some almonds on it and they're going to cook fine. And it's going to be great. <laughs> Hi, Dana. How are you doing? Hello, everyone. I'm not very good at reading and doing this at the same time. I'm so sorry. I'll come back to you in a moment. Right, so when it's cooking, we're going to, um, we're going to make the lemon curd when it's cooking, which takes forever. So, I don't know, maybe we'll have question time. Question time with Joss. I'm cooking with Joss. Ask me questions and I won't know the bloody answer to any of them. <laughs> don't ask me how to make stuff. I don't know. I think I'm figuring it out just as much as everybody else is. I just have these things in my mind that I want to do, and then I just look them up. Simple, really, isn't it? You know, back in the day, I think we would have grabbed a cookbook, and now um, we get on Pinterest, and, and that's that. Okay, I think that's enough almonds. Yes. Okay, I'm going to pop it in the oven. And the oven is at 392 degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to go in for eight minutes. Do not let me forget that it's in there. Okay, eight minutes. It is 3.26 on my computer. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. One, two, three, four. Okay, so 3.34, we have to take it out. I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out. Don't laugh. Oh, no, we're not taking it out. We're turning it down. Anyway, hi Heidi from the United States, Iowa. Happy 4th of July weekend. Do you know what, I, um, I started to say something that pissed off the Americans at my party, which was everyone actually, apart from me. <laughs> oh dear, it was funny. I don't think you guys are gonna find it funny though. But I kind of thought, you know, America is, um, was owned by Native Americans. Then, didn't we come over? Well, the Europeans came over, but a lot of the English, and then just killed everyone and stayed. So essentially, July 4th is celebrating the English fighting the English, and the English won. What do you reckon? What do you reckon on those apples? <laughs> oh dear, it didn't go down very well at my party. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying it. I just think it's funny. It's not though, is it? No. Okay. It's kind of true. Okay. Water in here. We're going to um, melt butter in here. We're going to make a lemon curd now. It's going to be lush. I love lemon curd. It takes forever. Well, not forever, but it takes longer than what I thought. Okay. Oh, God. It's going to take ages, isn't it? Hang on. I'll get, I'll get rid of some of that. We don't need that. I should have put that on the board before. But we'll just have a chat. Should we just have a chat? Yeah. Okay. You're going to need how much butter? 100 grams of butter, which is about half a cup. Where are my little cups? We're going to melt the butter, then we're going to put the caster sugar in. And that's going to take ages. But it's okay. Because we've got time. Half a cup. Half a cup. What do you think? Do you think that's half a cup? I think that's half a cup. I'm just gonna go with it. Over here it just says one tablespoon, one tablespoon. You know the little markers? One tablespoon. I like it when it says 25 grams. 
25 grams or 50 grams, 50 grams. It doesn't matter. I don't know. I'm just talking shit, really. Sorry. You like my faucet, do you, Miranda? It's my favourite thing in the kitchen. I had a chance to remake this whole kitchen. It's still um, a work in progress. The door for the bin has actually fallen off last night. Um, so we're still working on it. <laughs> but, but that is my favourite thing. Isn't it cool? If you've got a massive pot, you don't have to go to the, um, to the sink. But if you overfill it, you have to go to the sink anyway. And then you've got to go to the sink anyway to drain it. So really, it's a little bit silly. But I love it. Oh, so cute, isn't it? Anyway, <sighs> silly things. <laughs> Hi, Andre. Hello, gorgeous man. You all right, lovey? Miss you. Come over. Come over and we can have strawberry roulade in a little bit. How's everyone doing? It won't fit there. What won't fit there? What are you talking about? It won't fit where? I don't know. Hi, Peter. How's everyone? Love from the Netherlands. Janice. Hi, Gorge. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, one day I'll have this kitchen sorted and I'll show you all around. But right now, I don't even have anywhere to sit over there. I figured it out though. I've got a new oven. Ah, oh, I have a new oven. And it's so nice. I had the oven that came with the house and it, you know, it worked, but it wasn't, it wasn't good. You know, it wasn't. But this one's super fab. Do you want to see it? Do you want to see my new oven? Okay, I'll show you my new oven. I went kitchen shopping. I got an oven and a fridge. Oh my God. Why am I so excited about that? I don't know, but look, ah, and it has a light in there and you can turn it off and on, oven light, goodbye, hi, isn't it lush, and self-clean, I don't even really understand what that means, what's it going to do, get out a scrubber, I mean, self-clean my ass. but um, isn't it nice, I just love it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so obsessed with it. And this is the fridge, but it's not as pretty, but it's pretty pretty inside. It's just got lots of food in there. Anyway, right, we were cooking, weren't we? Oh yeah, that's still melting, which is gonna take forever. So we'll just have question time, shall we? Hi, Loz. How's England doing? Is it raining? Or is it sunny? I wish I was there, actually. I want to come back, but I don't know if they'll let me back in. I'll have to bring my dogs because I can't be locked away from my dogs. Do you know what I mean? They keep making these strange rules like no one can come in. I'm talking about the Yanks. So, um, it's a bit like, oh, I don't know if I want to get stuck somewhere without my babies. So I'm just going to, wherever I go from this point on, I'm taking them with me. <laughs> That's the way to do it, I think. Hi, Rick, from Washington, USA. How are you? Hello, Sophia. Hi, Meg. Oh, you will love it, because cleaning an oven is awful. Yes, Meg, it is awful. But how, how in the hell does an oven clean itself? I mean, I know it probably gets hot, but I don't know if that's enough. I think it needs, like, a scrub. I don't believe that it can clean itself. I just don't. I think it's a load of bollocks. But maybe I'm being silly. Okay, right, I've got butter. I've got butter all over me. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is looking nice. It's starting to get all gooey now. How's my time doing? What are we? Oh, one minute and I've got to turn the oven down. Thanks for reminding me, everyone. <laughs> The kitchen is the best room in the house. Yes, Lynn, that's so true. That's so true. People just kind of chill out in the kitchen. Obsessed with your tile on the wall. It's cool, isn't it? Some of them are not put on properly, so they may fall down at any point. It's um, quite an exciting kitchen to be in, really. Uh, yeah, but they're pretty, aren't they? They're just kind of stuck on with like a little bit of glue <laughs> and no grout. But they will be finished one day. Maybe I think I have to pick some of them off and do it again. 
Anyway, um, I have to turn the oven down now. Are you with me? Hi, Lily. My Argo in Devon is self-cleaning. Just gets hot and the dirt burns off. Yeah, that's true, actually. I never cleaned that Argo, ever. How many years have we had it? 15. Never cleaned it. Blazing hot, though, like 100% of the time. I suppose if you turn this on... Hang on, I've got to turn it down. You're taking me off task. We're turning it down to 160 degrees Celsius if you're in the UK and 320 degrees Fahrenheit if you are in the US. And I don't know where else in the world, I don't know if there's different measurements of um, heat. I'm sure there are and I'm getting it all twisted. So if you're in Brazil, I think you have to Google it. Okay, um, 320 for me. Okay, okay, big 320, lovely. Go. Ooh, you want to see it? Have a look. Have a look. Um, have a look where it's at now. Okay. And you can because I have a light. <laughs> okay. That's where it's at right now. So it's, it's risen. And it's still rising. Oh, I probably shouldn't open the door. Oh, my God. Mary Berry will be upset with me. Yep. Okay. So another eight minutes or ten. So what time would that be? Someone do the math for me. Like 3.40 something? Hmm. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's just go 3.43. Okay. Hi, Nick. How you doing? Hey, Nick, have you made one of these before? Nick's a chef. So I imagine that he has. And he worked in the pub. So I feel like you've definitely made a raspberry pavlova sh for sure. Okay, how's our butter doing? Okay, butter melted. Good. Now, sugar. We are going to need some lemon juice. Oh God, where's my lemon? I have it in the fridge, hang on. We need some lemon juice, some lemon rind. Six egg yolks, which we have from earlier. 225 grams of caster sugar, which we're going to put in next, which is one cup of caster sugar, roughly. Uh, where's my sugar? Where's my One cup of pasta sugar. It's in bits, but it's okay. We're gonna, oh my god, it's coming out in bloody icebergs. Oh. Okay. I think that's probably a bit too much, but that's fine. Okay. Oh, oh god, I did this yesterday. I keep leaving the wooden spoon in the thing. And then it gets blazing hot, so I need to get another one. Oh, God. Okay, mix that up. Oh, actually, do you know what? We're going to need one of these guys. This is better. How's everyone doing? Meringue is best cooked, and then turn off the oven and leave it in there for a few hours or even overnight. Yes, that's true, but not for this, because we have to roll this, so it has to move. But I know what you mean. That's pavlova is the best. That is the best. We used to cook the pavlova in the, um, in the aga, and the aga, as it's on all the time, it never goes off ever. It actually heats the, the water in the house. Um, there's a warming oven that doesn't really cook anything, it just keeps plates warm. So we used to cook it a little bit in one, so it rises, and then just chuck it in that one and go to sleep, and it was great. Next day, it's brilliant. Okay. So, it's hot, hot, hot. Right. So I'll bring you over here so you can see what I'm, what I'm up to. Hi, Gustavo from Argentina. How are you doing? Hi, Dave. Okay. Right. Just ignore all my mess. I know it's messy, but just don't worry about it. Let's just pretend like it's not. Shit. Okay, here we go. Hang on, I need to put you in the right position. Is that okay? Happy chuppies? Yeah. Okay, good. Right, this is that. We're going to put everything in first. Hang on, let me get the lemon from the fridge. got my other cameraman he helps me normally so he follows me around um so yeah I haven't 
I haven't squeezed that yet because I wanted to just show you. So I'm going to like pop a bit of the rind in there and then squeeze the lemon juice and then I'm going to put in the yolk and then we just have to whisk it and keep doing that. First. I always, always cut it before I do the rind. I'm such a monkey like that. I'm gonna crave some rind for you. I'm gonna make. I love lemon curd. Lemon meringue. Mm, 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 mm. Delicious. What have I done? Half the lemon? But it's kind of a big lemon. Mm -hmm. Lush, lush, lush. Smells so good. Lovely, lovely. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I'm going to squeeze. squeeze it but I don't trust it to capture um, to capture the seeds it never does it's better that I just do it with my hands to be honest lush 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 oh my god there's like no seeds in that where's the bloody seeds huh it's one of those weird lemons that have been have been controlled by man oh my god is there no seeds in this thing I don't trust that. That seems weird. Hmm. No, no seeds. That is so odd. I find it. Oh no, here we go, found one. Haha, ha, thank God, there's one seed in this, in this lemon. And it's a lemon, it's not just posing as a lemon. I'm not sure how much lemon juice is like, is supposed to happen for the recipe, but we're doing a, a whole one. Yep, no seeds. Okay. Oh, lovely. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. Oof, lush. yesterday look at the consistency of this that's what we want it takes forever to get there so I think we're ready for our egg yolks I think that's it I hope I'm not forgetting anything egg yolks in now this is Mary Berry's um, recipe there's a thing on YouTube that I watched she was making a lemon um, a lemon meringue roulade and she put pistachios on the outside of hers and she was awesome she was like um, she goes right you just put the, the lemon juice in put the rind in and it's perfectly grated and you just give it a bit of a whisk and, um, and that's finished done lemon curd so I was there thinking it was going to take that long but of course it's been edited hasn't it I don't know why I didn't even think that. I was like, why is it taking so long? But it takes a little bit of time <laughs> for it to thicken up. Oh, check the oven. Thank you, Jerry. Okay. Thank you. Okay, don't fall. Here comes my lovely. Oh, check the oven. <laughs> Cody came down and said, check the oven. Honey, I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, is it done? Okay. Okay, the oven. The oven. Oh, it looks good. <sighs> he came running down. He's so sweet. I love you. I love you. <laughs> okay, we're going to leave this out to cool. I like this oven. It's just it's put in a bit of a dodgy position. So I can't... Well, 
I have to pull this out. So that's good. Look at that. Look at the bloody shell. Anyway, okay. I know these are not very convenient mittens, but don't worry. Okay, I'll pop that there for a second. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, love it. Okay, right, what am I doing? Okay, um, I am going to do a thing over here. You can't see me because I just don't have enough hands. Sorry. Right. Back to being professional. Um, I'm just so excited about the thing. Okay. That. Hang on. I need to do a whisk. Whisking. Lemon curd is happening. Just whisk every now and then. And it will just turn into lemon curd at some point. Okay. These things are very cumbersome. Have I got other ones? Yes. Mmm. Oh, that's good. And it's it's good. It's not too lumpy. Okay, so what was it that I had to do? I have to flip it over and then leave it to cool. But I have to put powdered sugar on it first. Uh so it doesn't stick. Yeah, so it doesn't stick. Right. Right. I'm just trying to remember what I did yesterday. Another little zhuzh for him. Another little zhuzh. It's taking forever, as it was yesterday, which is totally fine. I get my little parchment. I don't know where I put it. Oh, it's right in front of me. I need the powdered sugar. Mm -hmm. I haven't got a whisk. No, that's not what I need. I don't need a whisk, I need a bloody sieve. Right. I don't have a sieve. This is the best thing. It's closest, closest to it. But if I don't put it for a sieve, it's going to come out in like horrible balls. Okay. Oh shit, maybe a bit too much. It's fine. It doesn't matter. This is a messy thing to cook. Oh, sorry, I'm not showing you anything. My bad. Look at that. Okay, covered. So it's not going to stick when we try to roll it. Okay, whisk your little lemon. Don't forget about your lemon. I wonder how many of you are doing this with me. I do wonder. If any. Who's with me, people? Who is with me? Anyone? How was your day, Joss, yesterday at Independence? Only your country. Elias Don Santos Suarez. Oh, what a wonderful name. Hmm. Um, my day was really good, actually. I cooked a mountain of things. I cooked potato salad. Um, baked beans, but not English style. Um like sweet and they have onions in them and mustard and um, like chili powder and paprika. Um, so I think that's kind of a thing over here. So I made that. Um, we made coleslaw. Uh, what else did I make? Oh, macaroni and cheese. I was cooking all day. It was fun. And then I made this disastrous mess. But today it's not gonna be a mess. Okay, how are we gonna turn it over though? We're gonna turn it over, it's gonna be fine. Okay, I had a plan for it yesterday. Hang on, I'm gonna whisk my little thing again. Whisking the lemon curd. Don't forget about your lemon curd. Oh, it's going good. Okay, okay. Turning the thing. We've covered it with this. Yes, we've got our little thing. We're on top of another one. Mm -hmm. oh! oh shit, oh god, how do you think that went, hmm, okay, well, are you still hot, no, you're not that hot, you're not that hot, oh, 
Are you ready for the moment of truth? Non-stick paper, my ass. Okay, come on, non-stick paper. Oh God, don't be like this. Okay, okay, all right. It's not too bad, it's just a little stuck on the edges. Oh, hang on, you can't see what I'm doing. There you go. I'm trying to unstick the non Oh, actually, pretty good. Do you know what, it smells like pancakes, maybe. Mm. Yeah, it's stuck on the sides. Do you know what, my bad, I should have put some more oil on the side. But I trusted the paper, even though I talk shit about it. Why did I trust the paper? I'm a fool. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh no! Okay, try not to spit it like I am. Because if you do, it will be a disaster area. When I watched Mary Berry do this, it just happened beautifully she just kind of went and then you just take it off and it was like whoosh, so smooth because she is a cooking goddess not like me i'm not okay Ooh, hang on it's almost off oh my god oh it's like taking a plaster off when it really really hurts you just just want to do it bit by bit. Oh god. Oh no, that last bit. Oh god. The pressure. Mm. Yeah. I lost. I lost an almond. Okay. Ooh. Oh shit, hang on. Don't forget your lemon curd. You are whisking. Whisking. Keep whisking. Lemon curd. It's getting burnt. Oh no! It's fine. It's all good. This is going good actually. There's a little burnt on the side, but don't worry about that. Oh, it's going to taste so good. This is good. I'm going to turn it down. Should I turn it down? Yeah. If in doubt, retreat. Okay. Turning it down. You have to get out of my way. This kitchen is. Very heavy. Okay. Yay. So now I need to, you're supposed to leave this to cool completely. We'll just pop it on the side and hope for the best. Okay. We'll hope that it gets cool. Um, what do I have to do next? I have to make the mascarpone now. Maybe it's called mascarpone. Someone correct me. Do you pronounce the E? Probably not. Is it Italian? Probably. So wouldn't it be mascarpone? No? With a little flick at the end? Or is it just mascarpone? I don't know. This is what we're gonna use. It's cream cheese. And I tried to use this yesterday. The reason why my roulade was splush yesterday is because when I tried to mix this up with the sugar, it separated. And I haven't tried it since, so that could happen again. So I ended up throwing it in the bin, because that's what I do. Mascarpone. Yes, Marcel. Marcel, do I pronounce the E at the end? Is it mascarpone? Or is it mascarpone? I don't know if there's a way for you to tell me. Just use rice paper next time, double the delicious. Yeah, thanks, Jane. Rice paper. Okay, I'll try it. I got some really good tips off of you guys. Marcel, mascarpone. I know, but is it mascarpone? Like, how do I say it? Do I just say pone? How can you even tell me writing? We can't even discuss this. God. Hmm. Yes, the E is pronounced. Thank you, Joseph. Cool. Nice. Okay. No E. Oh, Teresa is disagreeing with you, Joseph. Mascarpone with extra R. Hi, Steve. How are you doing? I'm pressing wave. I waved at Steve. I forgot the wine today. I know. It's because I feel a bit sick. But I've got this. Um, lime. It's 
sparkling water. I know I'm really boring, but I'll tell you why another day. Mm. Oh, okay, otherwise it can sep... What is it you're saying, Mariana? Otherwise it can separate the fat from the liquids. I need to go back. What did you just say? Are you going to help me with my mascarpone whisking? I'm looking back. I see. It is it cold. We always leave it room temperature. Okay. Um, it's room temperature. It's been in this room. So, hang on. I've opened the other one. I'll get the one that's open. Okay. So, if this, if this separates, it's kind of already separated a little bit at the moment. So, I need to whisk it up. You see? with one tablespoon of uh, confectioner's sugar. Powdered sugar, you mean it. Oh no, I forgot about my... Okay, it's fine, it's fine. It's looking good and I think it's finished. Oh God, this is what happens when I get distracted. Okay, turning off. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, there are some little brown bits on the edges, but no matter, it's fine. And I bet it tastes amazing. Whew. Christ, it's very stressful making this lemon curd. Mm. One has to concentrate. Which is not. Oh, do you know why? Because I ran out of water. Water twat. That's totally my fault. Because I tipped it out, didn't I? Right. Okay. I, I burned it dry. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Don't follow me. No, no, no. Okay, hang on. Whisking. Should I put it in with the other? Yeah, why not? I'm going to pop it in with the other lemon curd that I have because that seems like a good idea. Oh. Mm. Room temperature before you whisk it, but leave the mascarpone whisking at a high speed before you. Okay, add the sugar and it should be fine. Thank you very much, Mariana. I'm going to do that right now. This is brilliant. Um, that's what I need. I need a little bit of help most of the time. Okay, bloody hell. See, look what I did. I've got brown bits on the edges. Can you see that? Mm, it shouldn't be like that. It wasn't like that yesterday. Oh no. Okay, lemon curd. Ooh, yum. Okay, lovely. It's so good. It smells amazing. Yum. This is real cooking. <laughs> yes, Michael, it is. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, from the UK. Hi, Rachel. You all right? Hi, Daniel. Water today. Yes, Erin. Water today. <laughs> oh, dear. But it is delicious water. Mm. Oh, I can taste the lime. There's little bits of lime in it. Well, not little bits, but yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. Yes, Trisha. We were talking about my faucet earlier. Don't get me started on my faucet. Oh, I love that faucet. Okay. Right. Anyone else cooking with me? Anyone else got to this stage of lemony goodness? Right, so we've got our um, thingy-mabob over there. We've got our, um, what do you call it? Meringue that's been in the oven for 16 minutes. Cooling over there. Um, living its little life, trying to calm down after what it's been through. Um, and now we have our lemon curd, which is warm and delicious and lovely. Um, we are now going to whiz up our mascarpone with a bit of sugar and try to not let it separate. I'm going to use my KitchenAid, so give me two seconds, okay? Because I'm just going to wash it out with a bit of water. Yes. Um, oh, hang on. I wonder if that lovely lady can tell me, should I use this one? Or should I use this one? Maybe. I hope that she's still watching. Is it Mariana? 
this one? Or is it, I think this one. I don't know, I don't know. Right. Rinsing. I'll be with you shortly. First one works better. Thanks, San. La, da, da, da. The second is for dough. Yeah, it's true. Oh, the white one would. Oh, Nick has a different opinion. Hmm. Use this one. I don't know which one you're referencing. Use the second one. You don't want to add any air at this time into your mascarpone. Mariana, I'm going to trust you because you seem to know everything at this point. So, um, right, I'm going to get rid of the one I thought. That was the one I used yesterday. Okay. Hang on. I've made a right mess. I've made an absolute mess in my kitchen. Okay. Right. Okay. Oh, bloody hell. Right. Here we go. So, not this one. I'm changing it out for this one. Yeah? Are we decided? Jolene, sing Jolene when washing all the things. I was sing, I sing Jolene when I wash my hands when I'm out because it takes me a perfect amount of time. Um, so I don't like underwash my hands. Okay. Jolene, 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 Jolene. Whoops. Ah. Jolene, Jolene. See, I lost the mascarpone. Why do I put things everywhere? Okay. Right, it's going in. I'm going to mix it up, just like she told me. And then I'm going to add the sugar. Good luck, team. If it doesn't work, I don't know what we'll do. Off it goes. Come on. Don't be difficult with me now. What do you reckon? Shall I put in the thing now? I don't know. The other one, I think. Oh, no, Mario, you're stressing me out. Um, shall I put... I think I should put the sugar in now. I don't know. I feel like it's going to... Woo! It's splashing me in the face. Hang on, I'll put it on ten. Too fast? Jesus. It's going right up the walls of this thing. I totally... It still seems a bit separated. What to do, what to do? Hmm, what do you think? I've never used a KitchenAid in my life. Yeah, I am brave some days. Um, okay, slow it. Thank you, Teresa. Jesus, this is, this is very stressful, doing this in front of all of you. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna get my thing to take the thing out, you know. Right, here it is. My trusty. Is there a name for this device? Um, spatula? Is it spatula? Yeah, it's spatula. Isn't it? I don't know. Right, take it from the outside. I don't know about this. It doesn't seem right. I'm doing it anyway. Too fast. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm putting on two. It's on two. Add sugar slowly. I love that you're helping me. Thank you so much. I'm supposed to be um, telling you guys. Okay, I put one bit of sugar in. Hi. Oh, how do I say your name? 
I go? What are we baking? Right, we're making a um, we're making a strawberry, raspberry, lemony roulade. Oh dear. Okay, I put a bit of sugar in. I'm going to put a bit more in. Oh, you're going to get a KitchenAid, Maria. Honestly, they are good. Apart from I'm fighting with it a little bit at the moment on this one particular moment. Add sugar slowly, yep, yeah, I'm doing it. It's in my hair, is it in my hair? <laughs> Where is it in my hair? Oh my God, I'm covered in, it's separating again. I don't know how I'm doing this wrong. It's definitely separating. There is some in your hair. I know, but where? <laughs> if Cody's watching, Cody, come down and save me <laughs> from the shit that's in my hair. <laughs> oh my God, is this going so wrong? Look, it's totally separating. Look at this, can you see that? I'm gonna put more sugar in. Will that help? No? It's separating, guys. I don't know why. So do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put one more bit of sugar in. And do you know what I do when things go tits up in my kitchen? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this mask pony. I. You already got it out. <laughs> I am going. Is anyone gonna tell me how to save this mask pony? Rula. <laughs> I love the way how you pronounce the French word roulade. <laughs> how am I supposed to say it? Roulade. Without the R. I like how French people say R. It's sexy. But anyway, do you know what I'm going to do with this? With this separated mascarpone cream? I. I'm going. Isn't it weird that this has happened? Nick, I'm telling you, it's happened to me twice now. Look at it, it's separated totally. Um, I'm going to throw it. what you do in the kitchen when shit goes wrong don't hold on to it just throw it in the bin gone <laughs> problem solved but now we're gonna do what I did yesterday I'm gonna revert to what I know cream cream I can't believe this I can't I did everything did I do something wrong did I do something wrong I think I did Whisk it by hand, doesn't need so much whisking. Dave, put eggs in. Hmm, maybe a bit of cornstarch? Hmm, yeah. We need to see more of you. Oh, that's sweet, Andrea, you're very sweet. Stop mixing it so much. Okay, you're right, because the more I mix it, the worse it did get. Okay, toss and start over. Don't worry, I've got another one. Shall I move on to cream or shall I stick with mascarpone and take your advice? I'm gonna take your advice. I'm gonna stick with it. I'm not even gonna go near my KitchenAid on this one. I'll do it with my own bare hands. Okay, how about that? Okay, hang on, I'm whizzing. No, I'm not whizzing. I'm just gonna get rid of this horrible stuff. We're never gonna talk to that ever again. Goodbye. Right. Okay, here we go. Jesus Christ, this is a long one, isn't it? <laughs> Hi dear. Right, not much way left in it, maybe. Yeah, maybe. It has to be cold. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I thought it had to be warm. Right, let's try one more time. I've got one more bit of mascarpone E. And if this doesn't work, I'm going to uh, first cry 
and then second I'm going to use cream and not use so much that it splushes everywhere. Okay, this is my second go. Ready? <laughs> the brand of mascarpone might be the issue. Should we blame the brand? I'm gonna blame the brand. Yeah. Bloody Van Tia people. <laughs> I don't think it's their fault. Pretty sure it's on me. Right, so, hang on, should I just use a wooden spoon? I think, should I just use a wooden spoon? Okay. Washing. And a spoon. Just beat it up. Still seems separate. Maybe it is just broken cream. Do you see what I mean? How it's separate like that? What do you think? Okay, I'm gonna put a bit of sugar in. A little bit of sugar. It's supposed to be one tablespoon of sugar. Oh look, there's big lumps of sugar there. You know, that might be part of the problem as well. I don't think so though. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that. Isn't that pretty? It looks like snow when, when it comes out the sieve. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. Blah, 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 blah. It's not as bad, but it definitely does look like it's separating. I don't know, maybe I'm just being silly. I'm dreaming of a way. Christmas. I just love the snow. Okay, well, I don't, I don't know. I don't trust that shit. I don't trust it. Keep singing and it will work. Wrong sugar. Oh my God. Oh my God. Do you know where this is going? <laughs> Do you know where this is going? Yeah, I do. whipping cream <laughs> because I've run out of mascarpone cream cheese Chance. No. Why no? Cream it is. Yeah, exactly. Revert to cream. Okay. I don't know. I just, I'm clearly, I'm just not. Tell me with that cheese. I don't know. so well heavy whipping cream it's great we can even do it by hand which is nice to do I like doing it by hand so I can feel it out but maybe we use our KitchenAid just to be posh mm. lovely lovely we will get there in the end people Thanks for hanging in there with me. Okay. 
Right, cream. It is very nice. All you have to do is pop this one on and life will be good. On it goes. Are you in? You are in. Are you in? You are in. Oh. God. Bloody hour and it's very stressful. Keep calm and cook. <laughs> Aditi. Oh dear. Oh, it makes me laugh reading these things. I have no idea what kind of cooking show this is. Oh, two, mas two mascarpone cheeses, not three. Honestly. Do you know, that mascarpone cheese is fucking expensive as well. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus, tonight, I tell you. Okay, this cream is good. It's going well. It's going well. <laughs> we could have added cream into the mascarpone. Yeah, that's true. But I tried that yesterday and it's still separated. I don't know why. I don't know why. Cream turns into butter if you overbeat it. Yes, it does. That's true. You've got to be careful. That's why I like to hand. I, do, I like to do it by hand so I can feel it. I'm not going to put sugar in this. I'm just going to make it kind of stiff. And that's going to be that. Oh dear. The cream is cool. Yes, the cream is cool. Start slow. Thanks, Indy. Oh dear. You guys are so sweet. Oh dear. Sing please. Happy birthday to my mum. Aw. Hey Celia. Happy birthday to Celia. Happy birthday to Celia. Happy birthday to Celia. Happy birthday to you. Hope you're watching, Celia. Happy birthday, love. This is a nice birthday cake to make. If you can actually make it <laughs> without, without turning it to splash. Oh my God. I'm never cooking with mascarpone. Should we turn our backs on mascarpone? No, I think what we have to do is um, find a way to, to make friends with it. I just don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I'm sure, I'm hoping that there's a chef, or many chefs watching this. <laughs> I doubt very much that that's going to be the case. But um, I'm hoping that I'll get some advice after this on what exactly I've been doing wrong. Because I've done it three times now. One last night. I added cream. Didn't work. Here we go. This is good. It's getting thicker. That's what we want. I think that's what we want. That looks nice. What do we think? Oh my God, there's a hair. Oh my God! Is that dog hair? Oh, I don't know what that is. Someone's hair. That is disgusting. Yeah. Okay, I think that's stiff enough. Now we have to roll the thing. <laughs> this is brilliant. I don't know why I chose this dish to make for you guys. How's it going on your end? Brian, the name of the cake is strawberry, lemon, and raspberry roulade. That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> oh dear. Right, I'm taking my cream over. Oh, someone's come to visit me. Oh no. Delivery man. I don't know. I don't know what he bought. Right. Oh my God, look at this delightful mess. Jesus. Okay. Woo! We've got our cream. We don't have our mascarpone because we hate it. Bloody, stupid, expensive cheese. <laughs> oh my god! And now we have to do the roll, which is going to be very entertaining, I'm sure. Okay, how's everyone doing? Is 
this a wolf on the floor? No. This is my eagle. He's just sleeping. What are they doing sleep all day? That's my eagle. He is an ovchaka. O-V-C-H-A-R-K-A, in, in case you don't know what that is. He is very sweet. So all these years ago, I don't know if many of you remember, but there was a time when people tried to kill me, which was really weird, and I don't know why that happened, but they did. And I have this habit in life where if something like dodgy happens that I don't think, I'm not really feeling, and that's definitely one of those things, um, I like to make, or I, I like to find the silver lining in bad things. And I remember being in my house after the police had come round. Ah, oh, it was really, it was like kind of stressful. But it was just weird. Anyway, so the police come round and they're like, yeah, so uh, these people would like to kill you and chop you up and put you into pieces. And um, don't worry, we've got them there, it's fine. And I was like, oh God, it made me feel really like stressed out. So I thought, where's the silver lining in that? I have to find one though, because that's just what I do. So I must find a silver lining. And if you can't find one, you have to make a silver lining. So I decided to get puppies. <laughs> I used it as an excuse to get like, oh, he's waking up now I'm talking about him. Hi baby. I used it as an excuse to get puppies. I was like, well, I need security dogs. That's gonna be my silver lining. <laughs> so I looked up protective dogs. I adopted Maggie. Um, and I looked up what a protective breeds. I already had a Rottweiler and, um, and a teacup poodle. And he came up as number three, I think. So I thought, oh, I can get a fluffy of Chaka. And he's really, really sweet. So weird, right? Funny story, but that's how I got him. Yeah. Igor, say hi and tell these people that if they come round and they try and chop me up, you'll eat them. Yeah? Good boy. <laughs> He's so sweet, isn't he? Aren't they lovely? So yeah, so that's it. If you can't find a silver lining in something that's happening in your life, um, you can make one. Just make one. If, if it's not obvious to you. And then you might end up with a cute puppy. Or God knows what else, you know? Um, right. So I've got my strawberries. I don't have many left, so I'm going to add some raspberries. I'm just going to kind of slice them up. Like small, because I want to be able to turn this thing. And if it's too, if they're too thick, I won't be able to do it. So I'm going to slice them like, like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They are good. They are very good. <laughs> yeah, he is ridiculously cute, isn't he, John? Yeah. <laughs> so, oh yeah, you called your dog after a Russian name. If I'm not mistaken, it's a Russian name, Igor. Yes, you're correct, Katya. Um, um, of Charkas, I guess they're a Russian breed. Um, I guess they're found, they're very common like in the Balkans. And they're not so common in England, and they're not so common in the US. Um, so yeah, they're Russian breeds. So if you meet Ovchakas, often they're called like Boris or Vladimir. Um, and my dad's friend is named Igor. So I named him Igor. And I think that's a great name for him. It's perfect. He's so sweet. He's so sweet, but he's obsessed with food. So he won't do anything for you unless you have food, really. But he's bloody clever. He does roll over and everything. He's 130 pounds. And he can do roll over. It's quite funny to see such a huge dog do that. <laughs> I'll have to show you one day. It's very funny. <laughs> Don't eat them all, Sophie, I know. I just love strawberries. This is why I don't have many left and I've got to put raspberries in. Because I keep... I keep eating them. Oh, almost sour. Oh, what a shock. A shock to the system. <laughs> oh dear. Sonia, big hello, Joss, from Harry the Vet. Oh, hi. I 
Hello. Gary and Sonia from the Calm Valley. Hello. Oh, that's a nice message. How are you doing? Hmm. That's so lovely. Hopefully I'll be popping home soon. And I can pop to the pub and say hi to everyone in person. That would be nice. Is it still sunny there? Don't cut yourself. I won't cut you. Oh, I'll try not to. I'm actually not looking so. I could cut myself right now. That would add to the comedy, I'm sure. Or not. Okay. Oh, we're coming to that point. Okay. Is that enough? No, it's not. I'm just being lazy. Right, I do a li I do one more. Okay, I've got my little things. Lovely, lovely. I've got my raspberries. Should I chop these up? Maybe I'll chop them in half. Chop them in half. Mm -hmm. They're kind of squashed though, don't they? So they're fine. I just don't want them to be too bulky because if they're too bulky, that will not be good. I think they're fine. I love raspberries as well. I'm all about fruits at the moment. I woke up this morning and I had three, <laughs> um, I guess they're tangerines. I just really fancy it, I think because it's really hot. <laughs> Hi, madam, how are you? Oh, I don't know what that means. Huh. Hi, Lisa from Montana. Hi, Dom. Ken, hi, Dom. Hmm. It's sunny here in Long Island, yeah. Nicaragua, oh my God, cool. I haven't been there for a while. Ah, oh, windy in the Black Downs. Yeah, standard, classic. <laughs> I know it's been nice weather though. Good old global warming. I mean, it's shit for a lot of places, but England, England is benefiting from such a disastrous thing happening to our planet. Because <laughs> it's so warm. And that's like rare to get a tan in England. Imagine that. <gasps> well, that's happening now, isn't it? Amazing. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so I've got all my strawberries and my raspberries, and that's fine. I've got this. Get rid of that. Get rid of him. Get rid of all of him. Oh, we're going to need this. Um, 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 I'm gonna go get my special thingy. Look around. Okay. This is the moment of truth. <laughs> oh God, I do not know why I chose to do this <laughs> for you guys. Oh dear. The option on the poll was naughty or nice. Nice kind of to me meant, um, you know, healthy. <laughs> Naughty is what's bad for you. Okay, so I'm gonna get my lemon curd. I'm gonna mix it with the cream a little bit. Okay, oh, I should probably show you that. Well, hang on, swap. Swap, cream. Get some of that, chuck them in. But I'm not gonna mix it too much. Probably like that much. That looks like probably a lot. I'm sure it's fine. Mm-hmm. Mmm. What do they call that when you don't mix it properly? Marbling. I am marbling it. Look at that. Yum. So, I think the trick here is to not put too much on, which is what I did yesterday, and that's why it was total disaster town. Here we go. Okay. Try not to put too much on. It's tempting though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That 
is delicious. Have I put too much on again? Yes, I think I have. Oh, I have a new song that I've written. Would you like to hear it? Um, what's the, what are the lyrics? I think it's called like loving you but I can't really remember it how's it go um loving you how's it go um oh yeah I've been loving you all day thinking of things to say to you to make you stay I've been making things up It's not my way Well, how can I get you to stay? I want you, babe When I'm loving you, loving you Oh, oh my, oh my days How can I get you to stay? Something like that, anyway. It's not right yet, baby There's still time left, maybe For you to hold me closely Have you got somewhere to be? It's not right yet, baby There's still time left, maybe For you to hold me Okay, I think I put too much on. Too much. What would Mary Berry think of this disaster? My goodness. Please, God, never let her see this. Okay. Oh, right. I hope that's thin enough. Probably isn't. Bollocks. I'm taking some off. Have you got somewhere to be? <laughs> oh my God. If that was an award for the worst cooking show ever, this would be it. <laughs> but at least we're having fun. Right, so maybe get a little bit of lemon and just chuck it on. Why not? Why not? It's all gonna come out the sides anyway. Okay, get your raspberries, pop them around, make them happy everywhere. Whoops. And some strawberries. I think we don't want them. I think I, I put way too many in last time, maybe. I don't know, it was a bit of a crowd pleaser, weirdly. I don't know why, but I suppose it doesn't really matter what things look like, but I don't know, I kind of want it to look nice. It's just my way. It's not right. It's not right. It's not right. How's everyone faring? How are your roulades coming along? If anyone's doing it with me, hopefully there's a few. I hope so. That would be nice. I think cooking's good for your soul. It makes us laugh when we get it wrong and it makes us happy when we get it right. 
It makes us proud when we get it right and when people like it. It makes other people happy if they don't fancy cooking. Okay, what do you think? That's about enough, isn't it? I reckon it's still too much, but there you go. Okay, so good old Mary Berry said that you have to cut the edge. I feel like that edge is more rollable. I'm turning it around. She said if you want, you have to cut a little bit here to get the right, the right beginning, the right start. Okay. Ready? And then you use the paper. Are you ready? It's the moment of truth. <laughs> Everyone, let's do this. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh my God. I feel like I put too much stuff in again. Okay. Try and keep it tight if you can. If you can. Oh my God. See, I have way too much in. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, oh my God. Oh Jesus. Okay, stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. For the moment, stay with me. Oh my God. How's it doing? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna smash out the side. Oh my god. Okay, pull it back. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. I think we've done it. I want you to see it. <laughs> I think we did it. You can see the little roll. Yay! That's all I wanted. I just wanted to see the roll. How's the other side? Oh, yeah, it's all right. Ah, <gasps> oh, I feel so proud. <laughs> I'm sorry that um, that took such a long time. <laughs> but it was fun, wasn't it? Okay, I'm going to do some snow. Aww. A little bit of snow. Yes. Okay, and I think we should do some smushes of cream. But actually, that's before we serve it. But fuck it, let's do it. Right. I'm going to have to serve it to Cody, though. Ready? Come on down. Probably not watching now. It's probably turned off. Got bored. Um, do a smush, a smush, and then put some fruit in the smushes. Yeah. Okay. Proper job. Oh, thanks, Angie. <laughs> no, I'm gonna keep it on this dish, Jade. Okay. Oh, I love this stuff. This is the best. Whoops. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. One for me. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh, it's so good. That's my favorite. Mm. No, I can't just drink all of that. That's just too weird. I just can't. What? Oh. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It went okay. Ha! I think cream is the way. We don't need that mascarpone bullshit. <laughs> oh my god! It's funny though. Okay, we did it. Congratulations, everyone. I think that's good, isn't it? 
sorted. Right, shall I try a bit? Because I've, I've got no Cody down here, so I'm gonna have to try it. He's normally my tester. <sighs> Pop it in the fridge. I wanna try a bit first. Right, I'll take it off the side. What? Oh. Oh. Mmm, it looks nice. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's huge. Oh, I love meringue. Thank God. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Mm mm mm. Mmm. I'm probably covered in cream. All in my hair everywhere. And ice and sugar. Powdered sugar. Infection sugar. Lemon goodness, but I don't care. My whole kitchen is covered in it. I don't care. This is delicious. This is what I'll be eating for the rest of the day. Mm, 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 mm. I'll take a picture, yes, before I destroy it too much. Before you destroyed half of it. Wow. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> Have you come down to taste it? Yeah. It's good. It looks way better than the, the other one. Yeah. The other one was looks disaster. Here you go. Thanks. Is it good? Yeah. That's oh, right. Of course it's good. Mm -hmm. I'll leave your reaction on camera, mister. What do you mm. think? Mm -hmm. Just pretend, even if it's shit. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> That's it. He's gone. <laughs> Thanks so much for, um, for cooking with me and helping me along the way. Um, that was really fun. I hope that, well, I think we all learned something today. <laughs> Just use cream instead of mascarpone. Anyway, um, take care, lovelies. See you later. Happy 4th of July weekend. Bye.